okay this we're gonna make this video quick fast so it's not too long to upload uh, this is a video specially made for the time raider users uh, this one will be shorter uh, you, you want a, a good demo you have to go check out uh, the, the long video on the channel on my youtube channel um, okay, so it's about the time raider delay and seeing how everything works. Uh, the one we're using for the demo will be this one. Um, this one and this one, they both have tap tempo, this one doesn't. This is the extended version with um, uh, a slider part because uh, in dub a lot of people like the slider part. Uh, f because uh, the, uh, for emulating the the the, the tape uh, sliding head uh, uh, echo style, okay. Um, uh, I'm making the demo on this one uh, uh, because uh, uh, I tried a, a a different set of tape heads on this one. In doing the final final testing, I, I did right now. I, I find out uh, they didn't sound proper uh, well the way I wanted them to so uh, I'm gonna swap them uh, so we'll use this one but we'll, we'll use this one for a minute just so I can show my friend Yared that pissed me off with this slider thing how, uh, how the shit works so uh, uh, the extended version will have something I will add later uh, is a uh, double time a switch well you'll have double time that that w and full time it might it will be something like uh, maybe a second or a little bit less a little bit more but it will be pretty long okay uh, so that will be adding a, another delay chip and another tap tempo system uh, uh, for, for, for the whole thing but it will be doubled so the extended full extended version uh, will have the slider part the tap tempo and the double time uh, okay uh, that's what I wanted to say about the units uh, uh, let's uh, say every show you every every function before I start uh, so this is wet level. If this is the delay level, okay, the effect level. This is the dry level. This is your original signal sound. This is the sound. If you're using a mixer and you're playing dub, you're gonna use your feed. You're, you're not gonna use this because you're, you, the sound's getting out of the mixer. But if you're plugging a guitar or if you're using a, a dub preamp probably you're gonna want to use this the, the dry level okay this is the time okay uh, of course the big knob is, is the time uh, uh, an echo uh, device the, the, the main uh, 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 feature is time okay this is repeat uh, this is the, the, the repeat so that's the feedback okay uh, it, that's the same if you're using dub wise uh, on your mixer you're not going to use this you're going to leave it down so uh, so uh, and, and you're going to use your you, you, you're going to use your your effect send you're going to bring your 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 delays output into uh, your mixer one of your mixers tracks and you're gonna send the delay back to himself and make the feedback this way. That way, when when you push up the your your fader on on, uh, on your on your mixer, uh, uh, you you'll be able to to bias your your feedback directly on your mixer while you're mixing dub. Okay. Um, so here is the tap tempo button for these two that are equipped with tap tempo because it's near the time okay and with the basic version that, that doesn't have the the tap tempo uh, the cut button is here so that's to cut the feedback you know to cut the, 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 the sound uh, you, you can do funny things when you, you you're attacking it fast on, on feedback things it, it makes strange and oddity in the feedbacks okay um, uh, so this button here is the cut for the one with, that have 
the tap tempo, okay? And so, of course, uh, this is the, the tempo, uh, the tempo uh, speed uh, 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 LED for the for the, the delay time, okay? And now, uh, 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 when the sound is delayed, it, it passes, uh, every sound uh, feature you're gonna have in the delay passes in the feedback. It's not the delays or the FX output passing through those sound features. They, they're actually in the delays feedback, okay? So when, when you're, you're using the feedback or if you're using your mixer, it'll be the same. The sound repasses every time through these filters or through the tape heads. So uh, we have a, a low cut button here, okay? So we cut button. Uh, the, this is low, the lower, this is the higher. So if we cut the lows, the more we get high and less we'll hear the lows, okay? This is the, the low cut. So. This one, uh, it, when we get down, we're cutting more and more highs, okay? So up is high, down is low. It, it's lo logical, even on, on, on in, in any shimmo, you'll see this, you'll see uh, uh, low and in, in, uh, in high, okay? It's the same thing. So you're biasing the, the, the band pass, uh, your, your, your delays uh, band pass, okay? It, it, okay, so uh, these are two uh, 12 dB filters, and this is the super filter. The super feature here on this delay is the tape heads, okay? It's what we call heads, okay? So uh, the, the sound is passing through two tape heads that are facing each other with a special circuitry I designed. Uh, so uh, you you have the emulation of uh, 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 that tape sound without having the trouble of a tape echo, uh, which are you you have always have to take care of it, uh, change tapes, uh, uh, be careful with the 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 electronic uh, electromechanics when you move it. You you have to to to, to demagnetize heads. You have to take a lot of care. These units are very expensive, and, and uh, a, a lot of uh, my personal clients and people with whom I talk to, they ha always have problems with their old delay units. They pay the fortune for because they, they should re be totally refurbished, which, which costs uh, as much as the delay that, that already costs a fortune. Okay, so uh, we'll hear this, but you really have the cool tape magnetic sound here and, and you won't have the the humming and the of a tape either and that's really cool okay so th this button is is the one to drive the heads so this th just like for a reverb tank you, this is how much you, uh, a volume how much uh, gain you're gonna send send to the magnetic system so how harder you send it and harder the, the, the tape effect will be, okay? And this is the volume, so to, 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 to keep your, your, your feedback proper, uh, you're, you're gonna have to bias. If you drive a lot, you're gonna have to, to pull the volume down so the volume stays the same in, in, your, in, your, in your delay circuit. So uh, 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 when, you, when it's turned off, you got a volume, uh, you got, let's say, five repeats. Uh, well, when you turn it on, you want to have this, you want to have this f same five repeats. So if you drive a lot, the, the heads, you're going to have to pull down the volume, uh, the output volume from the, the tape head system. So, so uh, the, 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 the volume stays linear, okay? There you go. You don't have to drive them a lot. Uh, uh, okay, this is the modulation. I worked on this. I've uh, I've done a remodification, rebiasing because I wanted uh, this this to be as effective as possible. This is really chewing gum. It's really really very effective. You can have it in uh, in. Uh, in uh, sorry, um, in uh, square 
um, uh, the uh, square shape modulation, and you can have um, and you can have a uh, 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 sine or triangle type modulation. Okay, or in or in or in. Okay, so this is the depth. It's how much it's gonna uh, affect the, the the sound. And uh, uh, this is the speed, um, the modulation speed. Okay, see, look, when I turn it up, it's going faster, okay? And here it's a square, on, off, on, off, see? And here it's a sine or a triangle. Get it? Okay. Um, what else? Um, well, this is the output volume for, for the wet and dry the delay plus uh, for everything. Okay, so that's it. Now let's turn the, 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 the sound on and uh, show you everything. First thing I want to show you is uh, the sound of a, top, of a tape delay. And tell me if you think it uh, does this sound like a real tape delay or not. tape heads off. Put some more feedback.
stuff to do, okay? So the heads are on now, okay. Uh, now, so just show you a little modulation, okay? So you, when it's really very effective, you'll see this. Very so, if you want to try to emulate the vibration, the motor vibrations of original uh, 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 tape recorder motors, like uh, I showed on the big demo, you'll have to turn the 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 depth down and, and turn the speed a bit up. See? That's the unpredictability of the tape echo. Now we've done it. But redeeming effect. 